We got a fish. We got a fish. There he is. I got him. <clears throat> What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Whistling Waters Outdoors. As you can see, uh, back out here at the beach again today, uh, going to chase a few more pompano and some more redfish. Uh, Maybe even the trout are starting to show up. It's real warm. Uh, you know, I got my jacket on, but I won't need a long. Uh, it's supposed to get up to, you know, mid 70s today. Be a nice day. It looks pretty calm out there in the Gulf. Uh, we got a, got a light chop. I can hear just a little bit of surf, so it's perfect. Just enough to kind of beat the sandbar up a little bit. But uh, really hoping I can get on some pompano today. Uh, was uh I got a hot tip that they are you know I've been saying this every episode <laughs> but I got a hot tip that they are they're out there thick right now um, yeah so I'm hoping I can get on a few uh, I'm, I'm out here by myself today so I gotta lug all this junk but hopefully it won't be too bad I'm gonna go to where I've been going lately uh, we're just gonna, I'm gonna go where you saw me and Karen and uh, me and Trey it's gonna be the same spot. I'm gonna hopefully I can get on some pomp and or maybe another good one like Trey got, but y'all stick with us and we'll see what happens. Alright, well we have made it to the spot. This is the spot. The the spot. That's where I was getting on them uh me and Karen and Trey the day before that got on them good here last week, so I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna get set up, sling some, um, sling some of these fish bites and these cult sand fleas out while I try to get a hold of uh, some some live sand fleas. Hopefully, I don't have too much issue getting a hold of them today. See, the water's nice. Uh, let me go ahead and make sure I get all my cameras ready, though. Alright, let's get my tubes in. This will be fun today. The sand's nice and hard packed. That'll be real fun trying to get them in this. One trick I've always kind of learned is if you like twist it a little bit, you know, kind of rotate it like you're you know, screwing it into the ground almost. Kind of do that as you're pushing down. It'll get down a little easier. All right, y'all. So let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna rig up one. Put my little special uh, strip of sand flea, sand flea easy bites or whatever they're called. And uh, there we are. There we go. And a gulp flea. Let me get that rod rigged up. I'll put it on this one for now, I suppose. All right, I got my, my strip. I'm gonna put the strip on the bottom. I'm gonna go flea on top. And uh, this, you see I got the, the gulp, gulp fleas again. That's what I caught that that big bull red I'm not in the exact same spot but I'm basically you know I'm within probably 20 oh shoot uh, I'm within probably 20 yards of, of the spot but I'm just gonna hopefully I'm gonna send this out there I'm not necessarily sure I want a, a bull on this setup actually it's the um uh, it's my my 3000 clash on a on a trout rod this is what i use for like trout fishing and red fishing so it actually might not be too good if i hang a hang a bull on this setup but there we go we'll keep that one all right well i got some fleas i didn't get quite as many as i was hoping for but i think i got enough enough to start me at least We'll go ahead and get this third rod out. I got, as you saw, I got one, you know, really good, good flea. That's gonna be the one I put on right now, of course. Uh, all right. Well, Bill told me these fleas, you wanna hook them right through those back legs, kind of makes them flare up in the surf or something. So I'm gonna, 
Gonna set the flare up for him. Oh wait, we got a fish. Never mind. False alarm. False alarm. <laughs> Big ol' nothing fish. Alright. Got my three rod set up now. Got the shrimp on the far one. Gulp flea and a sand flea strip on the mid. And real sand fleas on the end, so we'll see what we can get. We got a fish. We got a fish. There he is. I got him. Who we got? Oh yeah. First fish of the morning. I think it's on that uh, strip. Who we got? Pompano. Woo hoo hoo. Yes sir. Pompano on the strip. That's what I'm talking about. Heck yeah. No doubt in my mind that he's a keeper either. Look at that. Heck yeah. Nice little pump. Get some of the sand off of him. Heck yeah. All right, y'all, there it is. My PB Pompano. Uh, it's my first fish of the morning good fish to start things off. Um, got him on that, like I said, I got him on that uh, fish strip, sand flea flavored. Gosh dang it. It's kind of like an orange, orange and white color. But uh, I was down there trying to get some fleas and I, I just saw my rod start going crazy, knew immediately what it was. Had a pretty good idea, I should say, of what it was going to be at least. But there he is, first pompano. Great way to start the morning. Gotta watch my other rods. After that little, I don't know if you heard me talk about the little, you know, got a little little sand spurt here now, you know, the current's kind of ripping off the beach, got a little bit of a, um, damn it, shrimp, almost like a, um, kind of like a rip current, where it's just pouring out, I guess it's exactly what it is, the rip current, but it's just pouring out, and, um, oh, sorry. But yeah, it's just pouring out and uh, pulling, you know, pulls bait and stuff out with it when it does that. So, but once that started forming, you know, I started getting some action. So, there we go. That's what I needed. All right, well, I got another, another big old sand flea. So now I got, I got two big old juicy sand fleas I'm about to fling out there. Hopefully, that'll get me another pop. Had, had a little bit of action right after that last pump, you know, started getting getting hits left and right, but man, I couldn't connect on anything else. I don't know if it was little whiting or catfish or small pumps or what, but I mean, they were hitting it hard. I just, just couldn't, couldn't seal the deal. We'll put this one out there. Maybe this will do the trick for me. Got a good strong bite. There's a little bit of action I've had in a while. Dang it, I think I let go of it again. Nope, nope, there he is. Got him. Woo! What do we got? What do we got? <laughs> Doesn't feel too big. I think I had the double strip rig on this one. Had it sent way on out there. Let's see what we got. Looks like it's gonna be a little whiting. Yep. First whiting of the day. Uh, that's a start. 
Second fish, a little lightning. Look at him, he knows, what, he knows what's going on here. Got it. There he goes. Gotta help him out from time to time. All well, my action today has been on, uh, been on the sand flea strip. Shrimp, shrimp's not holding its own today. I've only got one strike on the shrimp so far, or well, maybe two, but nothing like that uh the sand flea strip and what's crazy is the the live sand flea you know the ones that i've caught hadn't even gotten touched yet this morning just nothing on them so i don't know what the deal with that is um but i'm hoping hoping some more pompano will run through here for too long maybe i can get one or two more it'd be awesome to scratch out a limit but you know i gotta i gotta keep her sized one so i'm happy with that at least that was my uh my first keeper in my PV, 14 and a half inches. So I'm, I am very happy with that. Must have threw it right on top of, must have threw it right on top of a fish because I was setting it in the rod holder and felt the, felt the rod jerk. Thought it was just a, uh, thought it was just me dropping the rod, but there's a fish on. Let's see what we got. I think it's gonna be another little whiting. Yep, another whiting. All right, so we got some whiting running through now. Maybe there's some pompano with them. Nice, we get some little bit bigger ones. All right, let's see if I can get my bait or get my other rod set without this one going off again this time. There we go. Another fish. Might be another fish. Yep. There we go. This might be another pop. It's fighting like a pop. Fighting like a good pop. Whew. Flipping me. You got me in the surf. my over or under oh yeah another pop got me wrapped up in my other line though there we go heck yeah another pompano Woo I think he's gonna be a keeper there we go Whiting started running through. Started getting a bunch of hits on the whiting and uh, got me another pump. Let's, let me go reel the slack out of this one. I got messed up in this one. I don't know if there's anything on it or not, but get it, get it back tight just in case. There we go though. Number two pompano for the day. Let's see what he goes. He is. Oh yeah, 12 and a quarter. Barely big enough to keep, but he's big enough. Throw him in the cooler. It's number two for the day. Looked over, my big rod's completely slacked up. I think I got a fish on here. I think I, oh, I might have my third pop. I have my third pop. <laughs> yep, it's number three. He's a little guy. God, he's been he's been running with that one a little bit. I don't think he's gonna be quite big enough. We'll measure him, but I'm pretty sure he's gonna be too small. Here you go. That's a pretty one though. Lots of yellows on him. 
He is. Yeah, he's ten and a half. He's too small. Right, let's get this guy out of here. Let him go. There he is. Off to go terrorize some more sandbars. Got him. Maybe this will be Pompano number three. Kind of fighting like one. He got me another pop. Woo -hoo -hoo, another pop. <laughs> oh, came off just like that. Didn't have him hooked very good. Let's see if this guy will go 12. Unpack all my stuff again. He might, he might be a little short too. Ah, sorry, I think this is the fish I just caught. He's uh, about the same size as that last one, just a, about a quarter inch too short. Let him go. He's still out there though, so that's a good sign. Number five for the day. I just wish I could get that that third keeper. Who's out of here? All right, got him. Oh, oh no, he's still there. <laughs> this will be my my last keeper, Pompano. He feels. Doesn't feel too bad, whatever it is. He's running me down the beach like a pompano. Another pop. This is a shorty again, though. I don't even need to measure him. I know he's not going to be big enough. Yeah, he's a little guy. I need better than that. I need something bigger than that. Another pop though, that's number six for the day. By far the best day of pompano fishing I've ever had. Starting to kind of figure him out. There he goes, he's out of here. Starting to figure him out a little bit. And, uh, starting to show up a good bit now too, so. I told myself I was gonna was gonna get out of here after here soon, but man, they just keep hitting. It's tough to leave when they're biting. Just barely made it back, and the bottom is dropping. Good, good timing. Good. Timing. Well, I just filmed that whole uh, whole outro and just realized it wasn't recording, but um. Yeah, yeah, like I said, I got, got to the truck right about the perfect time, back at the house now, you know, got in the truck and the bottom just dropped, got my camera in, so hopefully it didn't get too wet, I'm filming off of it right now, so we'll see, but maybe that's why I quit recording. Um, but yeah, you know, ended up, you know, the last couple minutes paid off to stay, caught two more pompano, ended up, uh, ended up with six pompano today. Uh, got two that were keepers, those last two, you know, I might, might could have squeezed, but I didn't want to push it. And um, I, I hate I didn't get to see what broke me off, you know, broke my rig in half because I feel like that might have been a double pump. Um, just, uh, you know, was pulling real hard and then just snapped snapped the bottom half off. I got the top one, it was a little pumping one, but I didn't get the bottom one, so. But there's always next time. Um, yeah, you know, appreciate y'all watching. Um, gonna try to keep, keep, keep some good videos coming out. About to start doing a lot of offshore fishing, so y'all have a lot of offshore coming up. Um, as always, you know, appreciate y'all watching. Make sure you mash and like the or <laughs> mash that like and subscribe button. I always mess that one up, but uh, yeah, make sure you're subscribed up so you can keep up with the uh, keep up with all my updates. You know, get the video updates, upload updates, and everything. So, but uh, until next time, I will see y'all later.